Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a super cute pumpkin hat. This is a last minute outfit idea um, that I have for my baby for Halloween. So if you don't celebrate Halloween, it's also a fun, cute hat for the fall. So yeah, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. And I also want to remind you, as always, the link to the pattern and measurements and different sizes are going to be linked in the description box below. So now let's see the materials that you need to make this super cute hat. Okay, so for this hat, I'm using two different colors, the orange and the green. And I'm using Lion Brand Wool is Thick and Quick. This is a super bulky category 6 in the color pumpkin and also in the color grass. With these two skins, you can make multiple hats. You will also need a 10 millimeter um, knitting needles. These are the 16 inches cable, a tapestry needle and scissors. Using the long tail cast on method, cast on the number of stitches required for the size that you're making. In this case, I'm making the toddler size, so I'm casting on 36 stitches plus one. That extra stitch is just to join in the round. I'm gonna drop it later. So in total, I need 36 stitches for the toddler size. And remember that the other baby sizes can be found on my blog. So here I have 37 and I'm gonna use this stitch um, that I cast on extra to join in the round. And now I should have 36 stitches on my needles. Now place your stitch marker and let's begin. So this hat is very, very simple. All we're gonna do is a two by two ribbon. That means we're going to knit two stitches and then we're going to purl two stitches. And we're gonna repeat that throughout the entire pattern. At least until the end before we decrease. So continue doing this all the way around. Knit two and then purl two. Here I'm in row number two and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Knit two and then purl two. And this is a very simple two by two ribbon. Now continue doing this all the way around until you reach the number of rounds required for the size that you're making. In this case, I need to have 24 rounds before start decreasing. So here I have my 24 rounds and now I'm going to bring the new color and this is gonna be the same for all sizes, okay? You just have to follow the instructions um, that are on my written pattern. And what we're gonna do now is knit one color with orange and then one with green. Then purl one with orange and one with green. So here I have the orange, now I knit one with the green. Now I purl one with the orange and I purl one with the green. Now continue doing this all the way around. Take your time. I know it's kind of hard to be moving the yarn and switching colors, but you're going to you're going to get the hang of it. So continue doing this following the same 2 by 2 ribbon pattern, okay? So one knit with orange, one knit with green, then one purl with orange, one purl with green. And once you're done with this row, this is how it should be looking. Now you can cut in this card the orange, we're not going to use it anymore and now continue working with the color green. Now for the next rounds, we're going to decrease. And decreasing it's basically just knitting two stitches together. So what you're going to do 
for this row is knit two together and then knit one stitch knit two together and knit one stitch knit two together and knit one decrease and knit one continue doing this all the way around now for the next round we're going to decrease all the way around so knit two stitches together and then two stitches together again and again until the end of the round Now for the next round, you are going to do the same again. You're going to decrease all the way around until you only have six stitches on your needles. And once you have the six stitches, now you can switch to your double pointed um, needles or you can use the magic loop magic loop um, um, method to continue working we're gonna work the next six round just knitting all the way around we're going to make the stem of the pumpkin and this can be a little bit tight but just take your time and do it slow if you're more comfortable with double pointed needles go ahead and use those I personally prefer the magic loop method that's why I didn't mention in the materials that you needed the double pointed but like I said do what it's more comfortable for you so now for the next six round like I said knit all the way around and this is going to form the stem of the pumpkin and once you're done with the six rounds just cut the yarn, grab your tapestry needle, and now take the live stitches off the needles. And this part is always important to count the stitches. You don't want to drop any because then we're going to lose a stitch and that's not going to be fun. So take the live stitches and pass the yarn through, and again, the last two stitches remaining and now pull tight to close and once that is done now you can pass your needle through the top of the stem into your hat and in here just make a few knots and weave in. you don't even have to weave in the ends because it's gonna be there in you know that part of the stem you're not gonna see it but make sure to make a few knots and then um, within the ends or make a knot with the other uh, tails that are remaining in the hat same with the little cast on tail that we have in here make sure that it's nice and secure and once that is done now you just need to turn your hat inside out and you are done it is super fast to make it's perfect for a last minute um, outfit for you little ones Again, I have a different baby sizes on my blog and the biggest one is toddler. So it's the one I made right here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you make it, please tag me on social media and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.